Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. So tomorrow we're gonna fly to Spain and right now I'm gonna pack the bags. I am beyond stressed. I already packed my clothing, everything. I'm gonna take two check-ins for me, one for Polo, and then we have all of these bags that we're gonna pack right now. So I'm not gonna be able to take all of my bags with me in one go. So this is gonna be, um, I would say, almost all of my collection, but not everything. You're gonna be impressed because I managed to put inside of here, like, I think it's around 18 bags. I wanted to do this at last because, of course, I don't want them to be, like, all packed for a very long period of time. So I'm gonna, like, pack them right now, and then I'm gonna open them up and close them tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna leave to the airport like 11 a.m i don't even want to go about the part of moving overseas with a dog because it has been hell i'm not gonna go into it because i'm gonna complain a lot and i don't want to complain this is a very positive video the movie is happening oh my god i've never been so stressed as i am today and i know that i said that i was all chill breezy and that i just wanted the move to happen but i haven't been sleeping i'm breaking out my eye twitches constantly like when i say that i'm not sleeping like i'm up all night just waiting for it to be the morning to start doing things because i i feel like i'm not doing enough so we're gonna chat while i pack the bags so let's start with the carry-ons first we're gonna start with the carry-on samsonite that is the one that will is gonna like take with him rolling so we're gonna take a lot carry-on because of course i don't want to check in the bags i'm super scared of checking in the bags and i would never do that so we're both making an effort on that side and the thing is that paul is gonna come back to mexico i am not and when he comes back he's gonna bring way more of his own clothing and shoes etc so right now, right now we're just making a mutual effort team effort to bring the bags the most that we can to spain so let's pack this the first bag that that we're gonna pack well the first two are gonna be my birkin 25 in black and the 25 in gold i don't know why it got so dark here we have the gold one and i packed them all again like with their covers twillies and everything and inside each of them has their own organizer padlock and everything so complete set and those i'm gonna put them like I've, I've shown you how i usually pack them and it's like this so they take less space inside the luggage bag number three that we're gonna take inside the samsonite is gonna be my gray classic flap and because it's lambskin i want to be careful and not squish it a lot but here is the bag i hope that i use it a lot there dust bag and i'm gonna put it inside and i'm gonna show you how the luggage looks before i close it of course and then we have like my camera stuff like this is my sigma lens that i'm recently using i'm not using it right now but I didn't even charge my camera as i said honestly i'm too stressed to really be like doing it properly like vlogging is really hard especially when you're going through a stressful thing but i really want to document this because i just really like looking back on videos so i want to really want to make an effort to make this work um but my two lenses um all of them are covered and i'm gonna put them here next bag is gonna be my chanel mini and this is gonna be the fourth bag and here it is and then we have a bunch of slgs that i just packed like inside the gaps that you have between the bags and we have my okays keyless my gray wallet and like a bunch of them so we're gonna pack those right now so it's super early that's why it's quite dark and i decided to film here because everyone is probably still sleeping and here are the two birkins the great classic flap the mini the lenses and the slgs are like in between <laughs> One down, three more to go. I opened a window, so I hope that we can see a little bit more. Okay, let's go with the removal. So on the Samsung night, we had four bags, two Birkins, one classic flap on the mini. And here, I believe that I was able to put in like seven classic flaps, like almost all of them, except my jumbo and the gray one that is there. Like the jumbo is gonna stay behind and the other Chanel is gonna stay behind is my Tweed 19 bag that hopefully Paul is gonna bring that on the second way around. I'm not coming because I'm staying with Masha, but Paul can bring some bags with him of course so let me show you how it looks like this is quite similar to how i packed it the first time so um first of all this one this is my bobby bag you can see it actually fits inside this gap and this one that i have here before everyone freaks out it has a lot of space and it's the vintage classic flap so it does have enough space to be there and nothing is squishing it and here we have four bags there five six seven eight nine ten eleven bags the rest of them here are 
my white classic flap my blue classic flap this is gonna be probably a lambskin one the green classic flap this is the caramel and this has to be the black classic flap so let's put the bobby bag back here and you can see that it closes perfectly so yeah this is how this one is gonna go so this is the one that i'm the most nervous for because of course the bags at the bottom they're gonna have the most weight on top of them so that's why i decided to put my lambskin bags like this one on top and the caviar ones on the bottom but also they don't weigh that much like they don't have anything inside and i I'm, I'm gonna make sure to put like things in between to help reduce the pressure in between each bag like the weight but yeah the first thing that i'm gonna do when i arrive is to take them out but i'm gonna make sure that the luggage like during the entire flight is laying down so the pressure is as i'm showing you right now so if the luggage is laying like this th like they're just standing up they're perfect nothing's gonna happen to them and there's space in between them so it's not like they are squished inside so i, I love this removal like it's perfect for this <laughs> and they they fit standing up that's amazing but yeah we have seven bags inside this one let me close it up now the people here we have i believe only two bags hi she's excited about moving to spain right she's gonna need an european passport to travel there seems like it i'm gonna continue film so inside here we have like a lot of random things including two bags my chanel boy bag that it's inside here um let me take it out just for i candy purposes and my Lady Dior is in here that I'm not gonna take out because I was very, very careful the way that I packed it. I definitely don't wanna mess that up. But as I said, random things. Here's my Apple Mouse, my mini vanity case. That You know what I'm gonna do that I'm a little bit scared about? I'm gonna set my niece BB inside my check-in because there's no way that it fits. And I have things that um, exceed the liquid limit. So that's the only thing that I can do. Let's just pray for the niece BB. I don't think that anything is gonna happen to it, but it's the first time that I do it. My mic microphone that i'm not currently using so i am so sorry about that the audio is not going to be the best and inside here i have my camera so another thing that i didn't really think through is that i was gonna have to take almost all my gear except of my lights my lights i'm gonna buy new ones but the microphone the camera the lenses the everything that's inside here in my idle pouches here's where i, I save like my batteries and stuff like that cables too yeah this one is a mess but two bags inside so we were at 11 the keyboard counts so 11 12 13 with the boy 14 with the, the lady dior now with my duvel in my duvel this is gonna be super heavy because inside here we're gonna carry my ipad my laptop polo's laptop chargers but also my vintage kelly and it's right here inside the vintage kelly i i'm not gonna take them out because honestly it was really hard to put them in but my two kelly to goes are very comfortably inside the vintage kelly 28 15 with the duvel 16 with the kelly and 18 total with the two Kelly to goes inside the Kelly. I'm not gonna draw what's in my bag maybe later tomorrow, uh, but I have like my OK's um, passports and stuff like that. And the last one that I am basically gonna smuggle that one is here so this one i'm just gonna like have it in the carry-on like just attaching it and i hope that they don't say anything but inside here is my kelly and my kelly my kelly 25 in the the clay so here it is and inside this um bag here is where we're gonna put like all the junk for the flight like water bottles you know chips and stuff like that like it's a 10 hour flight we definitely need some junk food for it so yeah 19 bags i think i count one extra because before i thought that they were 18 but they're 19 back so yeah now for the plan of what it's gonna be arriving we're gonna fly to madrid first and my dad is actually gonna pick us up uh, for the ones who don't know my dad lives in between madrid and the north of spain it's called galicia so my dad used to have cancer and he goes to the hospital in madrid a lot and our arrival happened to be at the same time that he had one of his scheduled appointments so we decided to mix the trip a little bit and visit him for a week or two so something that i'm really excited about is that one of the things that we're gonna do once we arrive he's gonna pick us up of course uh, with the car that we're gonna keep and we're gonna go to the family house for i would say two three days maybe really excited to show you that house my best like childhood memories are in, in that house it's very close to madrid it's a very very beautiful house there is where i learned to drive to ride a bike um skate anything that has wheels i learned there and i would spend like full summers with my grandma i, I don't know just have really fun memories memories of that house and after that we're gonna go to Galicia now I'm gonna explain why we're gonna go to Galicia so with because of COVID renewing my passport since January was impossible like there's no way 
that I could do it and I tried, believe me, I tried. I, I cannot do it. So I went to the embassy and they told me as I'm a Spanish citizen, I can just arrive to Spain with my expired passport. And in Galicia with my dad spending a couple of weeks there, we're gonna go to the police station and ask them to send an email to the embassy and they're gonna like kind of help me renew the passport. So we're gonna see how that goes because I'm not sure how it's gonna go. So I cannot rent an apartment in Barcelona if I don't have a passport. So I don't wanna go to Barcelona if I don't have a passport to rent because where I'm gonna stay, I have no idea. So when I have the Spanish passport, I'm gonna also have my DNI, which is like an ID that you need for pretty much anything. So once I have those two things, I'm gonna be able to rent no problem and we're gonna drive to Barcelona. So yeah, for now, I don't have an exact date for when we're gonna arrive to Barcelona, but I hope that you guys enjoy watching videos traveling through Spain. Um, I hope that I can do like a little vlog on the family house and then I hope that I can do vlogs in Galicia. Maybe we can go to Portugal, buy some wine. Masha is gonna be very, very traveled. I hope that she enjoys all of that. We bought her this bed that you're gonna see on this vlog when we arrive to Spain. Um, I shipped it to my dad. I hope that she likes it. It's for the car because per law, she cannot be like just sitting like here in Mexico. So she needs to have like a doggy car seat and it has to have a seat belt. So yeah, I'm excited about arriving, kind of stressed. The plan for today is basically now that I'm done white packing, I'm gonna repack again because I always do that. And we're gonna go to the airport just to submit Mesh's paperwork to make sure that we're not gonna have any type of issues flying with her international because there's a lot of laws of import export. They treat dogs as if they were like stuck or luggage and it's, I'm not gonna go into that. I don't wanna go into that because honestly, it's very annoying, but it's been hell, hell to travel with her. So I don't think that Mesh is ever gonna come back to Mexico and she hates flying. So anyway, so today we're gonna take her for a bath and we're also gonna go to the airport to submit the paper and maybe at night we're gonna go have dinner. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See you in whatever goes next on this vlog. That you don't find cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Hey guys, I'm back We went to the airport, paperwork is okay We did everything, everything's packed But I just remember that I forgot to show you oh. I did cut my hair. I mean, it's not much of a difference. I just asked for layers and I didn't want to sacrifice a lot of the length. So let me show you how it actually looks from the back. I think it's a little bit more wearable. It's just a little bit shorter on the front. And another thing is that, do you guys remember that I broke this finger not so long ago? Well, I don't know why it's like hurting again. So I'm putting ice and I'm taking some painkillers, but it's hurting a lot. So right now we're just gonna go out. Um, we're gonna say goodbye to Paul's grandma and probably have dinner. And then tomorrow morning the flight starts. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film about the flight because I tend to be a little bit stressed when I'm flying, especially something like this, like it's not tourism. It's actually moving and we have a lot of luggage. So I'm gonna do my best. Hope that you guys enjoy. But yeah, so you can see the layers a little bit better. This is how it looks like. Mistakes haunt us, but do they really don't us? Your tongue can be sharp, cut me close to the heart. But we can master the art, and the thing is that these scars are scary. But they Hi guys, good morning. We're all packed, all set. It's like 7 30 a.m. I'm super stressed, so I hope the flight goes well. And yeah, see you at the airport. So here's Paul's carry on. My carry on, my chicken, Paul's chicken, and the extra suitcase, and there's Geraldine. And that's pretty much everything we own. Hey guys, we're at the airport and we 
are going to board like in an hour we wanted to be here before just to make sure that we didn't miss anything i am very nervous excited tired i honestly didn't sleep anything last night just, i tend to do that i don't sleep before something big is gonna happen um my fingers hurting a lot take the bags out now um but yeah we're finally here let's just go and look for masha masha we held on to the tight to me it was clear but you lied to me hey guys so we landed like 8 a.m I am very jet lagged. I am very tired. And we are right now staying at the family house. So we are not yet in Barcelona. We are in this little town called Soria. I'm gonna put them up so you can kind of know where it is in Spain. So here we have a family house. And this was my grandparents and before and before and before. So this is like the place where we usually come for Christmases or summers. I remember spending like whole summers here. So we decided to come here just to calm down. Like it's been quite hectic and I want to like slow down. Um, but let me show you how the bags arrived. I don't have my makeup done and I'm breaking out a lot. But I'm going to make sure that tomorrow I'm going to give you like a house tour. I'm going to show you the most that I can from the house because honestly i just really love this place for me it's very very pretty but the bags arrive perfectly fine let me show you so masha is basically completely dead um but these are the classic flaps they are perfect i don't think that i'm gonna take them out because i will eventually like pack them again to go somewhere else and my keeper uh, i already took out some of the bags and here in the bed i have my birkin birkin Kelly to go, Kelly to go. My vintage Kelly. Like everything arrived perfect. I just need to clean everything up a little bit because it's quite messy and it's giving me a little bit of anxiety. Let's go. We're going to dinner and it's starting to rain. Oh, did you hear that? So we decided that we're going to have dinner. I mean, I'm not hungry, but I know that I will probably wake up like 3 a.m. super hungry. So the best thing that we can do is probably go grab something for dinner. I didn't want to go out because I honestly feel like so tired. But I also wanted to show you the car that we're gonna eventually like keep for a while, which is the extra car that my dad had. And it's a Kia, but it's hybrid. And having a hybrid in Europe is very, very good because you can enter the city. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here. I am very, very tired. The flight was long. I didn't sleep much. Masha, right, fine. Po is fine. And I'm really happy to be here. So tomorrow, I hope that I can show you the house around and some of the things that we do in the town. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna vlog, but I promise that it's gonna be fun and that you're gonna like it. So right now, I'm just gonna take Masha out to the garden so she can just walk around a little bit because I don't. I just feel like even though she's tired, she needs to like exercise a bit so she sleeps at night because if we are jet lagged, of course she will probably be too. I'm also gonna clean up the room because I have quite a mess. 
I'm not proud of it, but I do have a miss. Oh, something that we can also do tomorrow is that a couple of my grandparents' old houses, they are now empty and they're not going to use the furniture anymore. So they told me that I can pick up some of the things for our new apartment in Barcelona. So that's something that I want to do. So I'm going to show you like the things and let's see if we can pick them up and ship them to Barcelona eventually because I honestly think that they're very, very pretty. I already found a desk that I really like. That could be part of the vlog tomorrow. So I'm going to unpack a little bit, peek around because it's super messy and i hope to see you on the next vlog bye i'm drifting on it